Okay, so hey guys, kind of a lot happened last time. Basically, we're on the run from Mr. X again. And we have upgraded our wristband. So now we can go across to this side, which is the west area. Which is where something to do with the G virus or something is. I can't even remember now. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're going. And that's what our new wristband unlocks. Hopefully the G sample's up here. We should be able to like, close that gate, but I guess not. So yeah, we're going to get the, the virus. Oh yeah, because Ada wants the virus, that was it, okay. And now we have like plant monsters and shit. Okay. Lab digital video cassette. May as well pick it up. And give us another grenade. And we have our modulator thing. This one is a OSS. There you go. Okay. So then you use the um, sticks to try and sort it like that. And then we can put it in and it should do something. There we go. Oh, and we have another... Okay, so we may as well put the cassette in now. Twenty cool. second of September, nineteen ninety eight. Got eyes on the G virus. Go on in. Doctor Birkin, you come along with us quietly. You think I didn't know you were coming? This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Doctor Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Oh, oh shit. Oh, so this will be Annette's husband. What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive. So she didn't kill him, but they did. We're in, sir. We had a snafu. A snafu? Resisted. We We've had, had a lot of snafus in this. That's correct, sir. Roger that. Just the samples, then. Let's move. This is really, like, high-quality uh, cassette tape. Okay, that was cool. So those were G-samples. Got a computer. William Birkin's inbox. I'm guessing that's him. Umbrella Corporation has decided to cease all research on the G virus, which was ongoing at the Nest Lab. All funding for the project has been cut, and laboratory director Birkin has been removed from his post. Thank you for your mail, Dr. Birkin. Top Brass has expressed an interest in this evolving bioweapon. G's almost ready. Strange you never thought to report to the research lab here at Umbrella. Send the data. So from a guy called Richard Kessler. Jane Doyle. Oh. So he's kind of... trying to take ownership of it. And we have an items box, we can ditch that. Yeah, so the trophy you were done with.
Okay, so I guess it's like decontamination area. <sighs> and I would come out into like a platform like the Incredibles. Or um, what's he called? <sighs> Professor X in the X-Men. Ooh! Look at this, this this bit this looks fucking awesome. I love the lighting on him. Or not. Okay. It should like shine red on him, but I guess it doesn't. So what is going on here? Eyeballs. A hand. I don't know if that's like a heart or something, maybe. Research diary. Embryo growth. After the G embryo was implanted in the subject, we made a 50 centimeter incision. That's a big incision. From the chest to the abdomen and began our observations. With the help of the medical team, subject's consciousness level was kept between 15 lucid and GCS 10. However, the subject's consciousness levels deteriorated and further observation was deemed unnecessary. Subject was disposed of. So that was subject 449, subject 501, mutated into G form, introduced to a group of 30 test subjects, 2 hours and 36 minutes, all but one had been implanted with an embryo, all subjects disposed of, one subject broke down during experimentation and took their own life. So subjects 628 and 639 administered G virus to 628 who had shown slight resistance to the T virus. Virus and introduced to 639, with whom 628 had a close relationship. Some signs of resistance, but implanted with an embryo after 24 minutes. T virus resistance does nothing to stop the mental deterioration caused by the G virus. So I'm just going to go and see if we can save in here, like if we have a typewriter, because I saw that there's a box. So I'm guessing. Yeah, there is a typewriter in here. Okay, so they're giving us ammo because they're like, okay, something's gonna fucking happen. So I'll take it all. Maybe we should have saved it before I did that, but... Fuck it. Okay, so let's go and interact with this thing, and I'm guessing something is going to happen. Huh. That was easy. All right. Now back to Ada. Attention. Unauthorized removal of a level 4 virus. Facility lockdown initiated. Self-destruct sequence will begin when lockdown is complete. Oh, look at that. Can we run away or are we stuck in... Oh, no, we can't. Oh. He's mine. This has to end. What the hell's going on? Sorry, William. You left me no choice. Call this thing William. Why? It shouldn't have been like this. It's Umbrella's fault. She's gonna get fucked up real bad, I can tell. You're Umbrella too. You're telling me you weren't involved in this. Yes. But we never meant for this to happen. Then tell me everything. Right from the start. He got shot by all them bullets, and then he's still managing to be aware enough to do that. And doctors inject themselves never goes well. Good God, William! Lizard from Spider-Man. What have you done? 
Langstrom man bat in Batman. So you made this monster. We made the G William virus, Birkin. but we never intended this. Spin it any way you want. You're still responsible. She's gonna get like thrown against the wall, down into the void. He's gonna eat her. Or something. He's just gonna crush her. Oh, oh there you go. So let's have a look around first. Do we have to like blow him up or do you reckon we can just like shoot him? Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get him to like hit all these. Or not. What's this? Oh right, okay, we can pick this stuff up still. Mm-hmm. I do have the flamethrower. Shit. Oh shit, am I stuck? A little bit. What else you got around here? Okay, somehow that missed me. I'll take it. So I have one health thing. That's great. Oh shit. And that's where we started. And now I'm gonna have to use my health thing. If I can use it before I die, which I can. Does that hit him? Get up. Hopefully I can sneak in. Oh, there was first aid spray. Give me some shotgun bullets. Mag ammo. Uh, which we can use for the red herb because we have a lot of it. Attention. Okay, we did well. 
I kind of worked out that the eyes were like disappearing, I guess, or whatever you want to say. I'm happy with that. Get in. Jesus. That looks bad. It feels worse. Believe me. Talk about what you said. I don't know how much I believe. Just tell me you'll destroy that G sample. No, it's evidence. It's going to the FBI. Oh, yeah, aid is the FBI. You trust that bitch. What's that supposed to mean? She's not FBI. She's a mercenary. She's gonna sell it. The G virus is gonna go to the highest bidder. Oh, bullshit. Leon, you silly bastard. I hope you're right. Oh dear, and I don't know what to do. I wonder if we'll even get to decide or not. I don't know. Oh yeah, this is part 12, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned it before now. But hi. I feel like we're on the home straight, but I don't want to say anything and curse it. And it's like, actually, there's two hours left. But I feel like if the whole lab is disintegrating, I don't know where else we can go from here. There's Ada. Okay, we should probably be moving a bit quicker. I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. No, we make a good team. I gotta ask you something. Way's clear. Please, tell me you got it. Oh, I got it. Let me verify the G sample when we get the hell out of here. Before we do that, I ran into Annette. She claims you're not FBI. Why couldn't you just hand over the sample? Because I realized, as much as I wanted to trust you... He's making a stand. I didn't. I really hoped it wouldn't end up like this. So that's all this was? I was just some pawn to you? Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun! I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. You shoot me. But I don't think you can. She is. Oh no. Sure, actually, she's going to. Oh! How did she. How did she hit her there? Through Leon. How? Okay. Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear. She, all right, to be fair, whether she's a bad guy or not, she's been through some shit. Hold on. I think I get... Oh. This bit's exciting. Forget it. Shut up, I've got you. It's not worth it. Don't do this. That's a really cool shot. Take care of yourself, Leon. No! I love that whoosh sound effect as well. Okay, this is gonna be like the end. We're going down with it. It's gonna blow up, right? I didn't make that up. Like a self-destruct thing. Okay, yeah, 10 minutes, okay.
Now I'm thinking we went past that box and I feel like I should have changed some of my stuff around or something. Because now I'm worried. So, let's see. Not gonna lie, I thought this like lift was gonna take us up, seeing as how it's gonna blow up. <laughs> it's just a nine minute lift. Okay, no, here we go. Stuff is actually happening. Who's that? Claire? Yeah, but the whole place is coming down. Listen to me. You need to get out. Fast. Yeah. There's a way out. We can make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Yes, she's just talking to you. Leon? Say something! Hey, Leon, you're breaking up. Forget Fuck about sake, me. sake, man. Just get out of here. Damn it! Dozy bastard. Nine minutes until detonation. The music here is cool. Oh, that's nice. And now that I've wasted time doing that, I can go and save it here. And now we make our sprint to the finish. Through here, here we go. So, are they just going to bombard us with enemies or what? What? Yes. Eight minutes until This is, this is tense, at least for me. Do we have a map for like these bits as well? Whoa, why is this all going up again? Oh, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Okay, we can't go that way. Oh. Go, go, man. Where are we? I don't, I don't have any idea. Okay, and then... Oh, oh. shit. Drop down, drop down. Stop, stop. Seven minutes until detonation. Okay, so now we are in another area. We will combine them. What we got over here? We have more a joint plug. Okay, so we're gonna have a like thing come up here. Get the joint plug. So now we'll have to do a puzzle or something or not or we'll just literally have to put this in here all right here we go green the color of gold oh dear 
Is it King Kong? Is it a T-Rex from Jurassic Park? Oh shit! This is just like utter chaos right now. Oh! Is that him? It looks like him but on like steroids. how quick he is. Okay, he's still just walking. Okay. Well, that's not good. Is it worth shooting him? Do you reckon? Should we just avoid him? That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, my running around in a circle, not even looking at him technique was working. I like the music. And so now we have to use this. How long, how long are we going to have to hold off for? Okay, so now it's blocking us off because it's like, oh fuck you. Oh. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Ouch. Come on, come on, we're good. much point in it but if we are going to actually be fighting him and not just running away then I'm like okay well, I may as well do it now what is he doing there it's just like he's having a big shit oh you're so terrifying destroying them concrete blocks okay that was close Less of an area to avoid him, I guess. What is this? What is that move? Oh! Oh, are we dead? It looks like we're dead. Yeah, we're kind of dead. Hit him with all you've got. Okay, so we are going to shoot him. Use the central elevator to evacuate immediately to the bottom of the platform. Just thinking, should I use like the mag instead? We'll see how this one goes. I like how they put us right back here. It says it says it goes back to your last save, but this wasn't our last save. But whatever. What the hell? We'll just die straight away on this time. Right, we have six bullets, and that's it. Using this.
Okay, that did something. Can we stand behind this? Oh shit. I thought he'd like glitched or something and he couldn't get to us properly. But I guess he can get to us just fine. Tank rocket. Oh, please don't die. Please, please, come on. Come on. Okay, and then we'll use this, and then we have four anti tank shots. One shot is all okay. Oh! I didn't... I did not think that was going to happen. <laughs> you have arrived at the bottom level. Holy shit. I thought he did... I thought he couldn't die. Okay, why am I wasting time? Okay. <sighs> Breathe. Okay, let's go. Oh! Um... How many are there? Oh... Uh, grenades. I think we're good. Where's Claire? Maybe Claire's driving. <sighs> I can't believe I actually miss her. I wonder what would happen if you put your wristband in the box instead of keeping it on you like I do. <gasps> oh, there's a kid. Leon? Who I guess we'll see hey. in her story. We made it. Just like I said we would. Oh! There you go! Oh no, I, th I thought something else was going to happen. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, that's... That's uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, I'm just seeing if I know anyone from the... <gasps> William Birkin was the guy that plays Frank West. TJ Rotolo. Holy shit. To be fair, I wasn't really listening. I'll have to go back and pay attention to him talking. But, um, I'm a big Dead Rising fan. And obviously Frank West is a big part of that. And a big part of Dead Rising as a whole. Dead Rising 3 is probably my favourite. Uh, which is probably, like, pretty controversial, I guess, to normal fans like how dare you like the third one but I think it was like, probably the best Xbox One exclusive thing that they even did 
I have the old like Resident Evil 2 for PlayStation 1. But I don't know, I just much prefer the like revamped versions rather than going back and playing the the older ones because I don't know. They're way less handholdy. Because I remember from playing Dino Crisis, which is another thing that I really want to get on and play because I was like the first I cuz I was thinking Dead Rising was like the first horror game I played. Even though obviously it's like a comedy kind of wacky one, but no, the in fact the first horror game I played was Dino Crisis, which for those of you that don't know, is basically Resident Evil but with dinosaurs. So obviously it's way cooler, and uh, you were like this awesome chick called Regina who had like red hair and like a tight leather outfit thing. Although that's got nothing to do with why I like it. Uh, maybe maybe just a tiny bit. But yeah, hopefully we get a Dino Crisis revamp remake thing. Then, I don't know, maybe there might be enough demand for Capcom to actually officially make it themselves, which I kind of doubt. I don't I don't know how big it was. I don't think it's that big. You never really hear it being touted as much as, well, ever, really, other than in, like, passing. Or unless people are ripping on Dino Crisis 3 because that one was set in space and like the camera was terrible and the, the gameplay was terrible. But no, the first one, I remember staying off at school and playing it on the, on the PlayStation 1 when I was like five or six and like kind of not really knowing what the hell I was doing and being like terrified. But yeah, good times. So yeah, I'd like to see the return of that and I might play the original on the channel at some point. I want to. Oh yeah, when I finish the game, that's usually when I'm going to talk about what I thought of it. Uh, so, Resident Evil 2. That's now officially the first Resident Evil game that I've ever finished. So I can finally say that I've finished a Resident Evil game. So I'm super happy about that. The game itself was very enjoyable. Like that last few... The last few parts. Actually, they, they blew by really quick. Because I'm... I've been doing them in like like three episode segments, if that makes sense. Okay, hang on. Okay, so I'm guessing that's like a cliffhanger for three. Okay, here we go. A B! That's good! Assisted, total time 743, that's terrible. 42 saves. And that's, that's like a nice like screen. That is really nice looking. Okay. And I get the achievement for finishing the game. Only 30. That's kind of sad. Also, I just realised, thinking about it. Um, I don't know why I thought about it now. But, okay. Bear with me because I'm going to waffle on a bit. And so, if, if you're done, you want to see the ending, there's the ending. It's, it's happened... I'm just going to waffle on a bit because I've got you and I am happy with myself and I'm in a good mood so I'm just going to uh, ramble on until I'm done rambling. So if you don't want to hear rambling then thank you for watching and yeah hopefully come back because I might do Claire's storyline which I thought was going to be more different and obviously you'd think different stuff's going to happen because she had the kid at the end. And I think we'll see things from her perspective because early on in the the Raccoon Police Department, we were when the helicopter crashed, and we were asking if she found a brother, and she hadn't. So I I, I reckon on hers we're gonna like try and find a brother, and I don't even know if she's gonna get any interaction with like Ada or anything. So that'll be interesting to have a look. So if this if if, if you thought this series was good then um, let me know in the comments if you'd be up for watching Claire's version. Although I I don't know how different it's going to be and it might be kind of disappointing if it's too... if if a lot of it's the same. So that's just something to keep in mind. But the offer is there that I'll play Claire if you guys want me to. Other than that, what I was going to say was no spiders. We were, we were in the sewers and there wasn't any spiders. Which I thought there was going to be. Because I remember saying it when we went in the sewers. I was like, oh, okay. When I thought there was a giant snake, but it was actually the alligator's tail. 
I was like, okay, we're going to get loads of spiders here. And it's going to get scary because I'm terrified of spiders. But what do you know? No spiders. So unless they're in Claire's version, maybe we don't get any at all. But yeah, there you go. There's Leon's campaign done. But yeah, okay, that's enough waffling. Did I think it was good? Yes, I did. I enjoyed it. Uh, I thought the lab bit... Like Looking back, actually, on the areas... The, the environments are kind of small. Uh, you think you've got the police department, which has got, yeah, it's got like the three floors and everything. But once you kind of like run around it, you kind of know where everything is. But I guess, I guess the originals were like that. Because if you think the first one was in the manor, the mansion, I don't know. It's just weird to think about. And then the sewers bit was like a really tight, compacted area. And it's more of the, like kind of the unknown that you're not really sure what you're getting into. That makes it feel longer and more kind of scary or something. Yeah, that's interesting now that I'm thinking back on it. But yeah, there you go. That was Resident Evil 2. I hope you enjoyed it. I would recommend it, although you have to see me play through it. But you could have seen this and be interested in going and play Claire's. And then you wouldn't know what happens. So yeah, I, I thought there was... I don't know if there's now, like, a Leon B, because I know on the original there was, like, Leon A, Leon B, Claire A, Claire B. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. I don't know whether I've unlocked a new... Actually, hang on. If I press start game here, it might tell us what I've unlocked. Concept art for sewers. All right, costume, Leon, alternative. Okay, Claire gets an alternative, just for finishing that. Uh, Hero merges... Claire, second story mode. So I'm guessing that's B. Costume, Leon, normal, custom. Zombie roundup, grenade model, maxed out, concept art, the tyrant. New game, second run has been unlocked. Select it under story from the main menu. The ending and certain parts of the game are different. Note that it only says certain parts are different. Oh, so I guess, so it means you can choose between the different versions. So you've got like the kind of dirtier one, you've got him when he's nice and spick and span, and then you've got him at the uh, the gas station. And then for Claire, oh, it's like the retro ones. I mean, I think that's what they wore in the, in the, the original PlayStation game. Yes, that's cool. Like Leon's, Leon's is cool. And you can see how they've, like, adapted it to make it more, like, kind of now. See, that's cool. You get to unlock their original thing. And even her necklace changes. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, well, that's it. So, I've been Nukes Plays. That was Resident Evil 2 Remake Leon. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.